As a new dawning comes upon the world, also must come the evangelization which I have orchestrated through you. I have been preparing your hearts and souls with a greater compassion for lost souls, sinners who are thinking themselves to be shoe-ins to heaven. I will illuminate their conscience as to the truth of their falsehood and lukewarm attitude towards me. I have also begun to purify your souls in order for you to obey me in all my commands, which may at times seem to be what you would least expect to do or to say. As I dictate, I work in the unexpected events of your life and require you to be ready to fulfill my will immediately. Souls I care for and for whom I suffered and died for are at stake, contingent upon the obeying of my chosen ones. Do not think of yourselves more than what you are. I will not work through your pride, but seek the lowly and humble servants, taught at the Blessed Mother's knee. Ask for her intercession. She will teach you all that is needed in these darkened days, so filled with sin and destruction. Caution and fear for your reputation and what others may think must be put to rest, for you are mine. Place your thoughts on pleasing me, and only then will peace have its rightful place in your hearts. When you surrender to the indwelling of the Trinity and leave all that concerns you and your loved ones to me, I am able then to direct and use you by lifting you up beyond what is today your capacity. Simply think of me, meditating especially on my passion, and I am with you, enjoining and fortifying, calming and opening your mind to revelations. Things you thought you understood now take on a new light and understanding. Spend your time here with me, foregoing pleasures of earth that will gain nothing for you. Find in me the joy you seek and do not dismiss the graces and blessings I have planned for you each and every day. Does my love for you seem so insignificant or unattainable that you do not yet believe? Receive your greatest expectations in the Eucharist and Sacrament of Forgiveness. Do not be afraid to ask for much. I delight in you, my child. Will you help me usher in the coming of the Kingdom?